We're leaving now. Let's go. Hey guys, uh, Leah here. So in today's video, we are going to be going on a bit of an adventure, going to the beach. Leah, wave. <laughs> She's insane. She's wearing a jacket to the beach. <laughs> it's freaking hot. What are you talking about? beaches right over these trees walk through them okay let's cross over whoa yeah we haven't been here for a while they've cleared all of this, all of this where the, all where the sand is there, that all used to be trees and grass. I jumped. Going down. Uh, ah, put it on the ground. There, it's down. Behind you. They're over there. Get the shoes there. Okay. Snack. Snacks. A snack. Snack. A snack. Here. A snack. Take one. Ah. No, not you, them. Oh, okay. Yum. So today we decided to come out and to just, you know, go on a little adventure, a little walk, you know, just get out of our usual space. Speed boats. Right now, what's called? Speed boats. Yeah, I swear I said that. And uh, today we're going to mainly be talking, um, I mean, we'll have some art in the video, just us, you know, just doodling in our books and all. Um, but we will um, mainly be talking about the meaning of some of our paintings and the stories that led to us making those paintings because a lot of these, actually not all of them, are all paintings uh, that I call them testimonial art where it's, you know, things, situations in our lives that God has um, brought us through and taught us a lesson in, and that's what we've turned into these paintings. So we're mainly going to be talking about that in this video. During the first couple of videos Leah and I did together, we made one about a peacock. The story behind this painting is one day we heard a strange sound outside, went outside and found a peacock right on top of our roof. This was the first time we saw them and we found out that they belonged to our neighbor. I went to see what the Bible had to say about peacocks. Turns out they were high value gifts back then. I read many articles trying to find out what they meant or if they had any significance. Then I found an article that spoke about things yet to come. The reason that shocked me was because before researching peacocks, I asked the Lord what message I should put in the painting and I got the same words, things to come. Keep in mind that at the time I was having a tough time with the channel and my life trying to figure out what's going to happen, what am I going to do and this was the Lord's answer, his encouragement to me. So now whenever God wants to tell my family that he's bringing something into our lives or telling us that there are things to come, he sends the peacocks jumping into our garden to come visit us for a day. This next painting was also something I received when I hit a low in my life. Now it wasn't often that I took naps, but my dad insisted that I did. So I laid on the couch and rested. I was sorta of in between being awake and sleeping when I received the idea for this painting. The painting was so odd, how could that have come into my mind? I asked the Lord about it and what message to put in it, and two words came to me. 
The first was prosperity, but kindness also seemed to join in. Immediately I searched for what rhinos meant, and they represented strength, power and spirit, tolerance and kindness. It was so weird, but so amazingly cool. I then tried to find a scripture with both prosperity and kindness in it, and I was led to Proverbs 21 verse 21. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds prosperity, life and honor. Aside from all these signs lining up and God using it as encouragement for me, when Leah and I posted the video, it had an amazing reaction on all of our platforms. We gained many followers and support from our likes and comments sections. Prosperity indeed. Sometimes in life, we just need to be reminded of who God is and what power He has and what love He has for us. In a time where my family was stressing and taking things upon ourselves to try figure out, we forgot who was our helping hand, who our guide was. Leah and I don't often deeply discuss painting ideas, but this night we did. We were trying to come up with a great message that we could paint and post, not just for others, but as a reminder to our family in the time that we were facing. Then we remembered a saying our dad picked up a few years ago, let go, let God. The message reminding them and all others who watched that video that sometimes we need to step back and let God be God. This painting was inspired by the saying, enjoy your salvation. The Lord really spoke to me with this painting because I often feared that the correct way to live was to have a tough life. You would hate your life, you would hate your job, because that is such a normal sight nowadays, I feared that that was the correct way to live, that I couldn't go pursue even my passions. But God spoke to me with this, reminding me that He sent His Son to die for us that we may have life abundantly. He died so that we could have joy and freedom and praise God for what we have. When you come to God, He doesn't put you on a tightrope, but He calls you into a garden of life with many opportunities. Life is tough but we should enjoy it the best we can. Enjoy ourselves for our own sake as well as for God's glory. God did not ever make suffering and pain normal, but the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. And God came to give life to us while the devil comes to take it. So go and do something enjoyable. Take your passion and the things you currently have around you and do something you love. Don't ever feel bad for enjoying something nice because Christ died so you could experience the fullness of life with Him. Mine's obviously better, you know, just... No, mine... That... <laughs> no, mine... So, it's time to head home now. Today's video was a lot of fun. This whole adventure was just really great to get out and just show you guys around. If you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to support us. For behind the scenes and painting update videos, you can support us on TikTok and Instagram at AliaSNs. With that, it's time to say, <clears throat> have a good day, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.